Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys checking out today's video. And today I'm gonna share with you guys one of the biggest secrets a lot of people don't know about, and that's fishing the bridge shade under bridges. Not, not necessarily the bridge pilings that, that everybody knows about, but the shade underneath the bridges. This is a one of my favorite patterns. I rip them on it during, uh, especially during the warmer weather months and some in the winter time. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish it and how to go about it. Real quick, I just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder about our View Products tab. Um, if you guys notice, when you start the video, there's a little square that says View Products. Um, I put a bunch of products on there I thought you guys might be interested in. And if you just click one of those products, the channel gets 20 cents every time you make a click. So if you click five products on there, it takes like two seconds. Um, channel makes a dollar so if you guys want to help support the channel here that's a great way to do it and me and my family would be much appreciated thanks a lot okay guys let's talk a little bit about this shade i'm going to go over i'm going to point some stuff out here give you guys some tips and advice on it so the first thing you're going to notice is when you pull up underneath a bridge like this where the shade's at take a look at your depth finder you're going to notice a lot of bait fish here there's going to be a lot of bait fish that naturally hang around these bridges um, one of the things about this, the reason why you have a lot of bait fish in these areas is most of the time bridges are, there's a couple of different riprap points here and it's normally what happens is it sort of funnels down around a bridge and it creates some natural current that runs through here. And the combination of the shade and the current through here and the pilings too, they provide cover, but a lot of bait fish like to hang out in this shady area. Now the key is on this guy is especially on sunny days, this is a sunny pattern. This doesn't work that great during cloudy days, but what you wanna do is you chase the shade here. You notice you got a shade edge right here, a shade edge right there in the middle here. Now this shade is going to be in different positions based upon you know the, the sun position. You know, in the afternoon and the morning, you're gonna have the shade out off the end of the bridge farther up here. In the middle of the day, it's gonna be more in the middle. And what you wanna do is you wanna stay in the shade because I don't care if the shade line is 50 foot out there, the bait fish here, and see, notice how the bait fish are in the shade area here. The bait fish will stay in the shade and so will the bass here. So it doesn't matter how deep the water is, these fish are gonna suspend out in here around the shade and you know basically feed on these baits. You have to get in your mind is don't pay any attention to the water depth here. I don't care if it's five foot deep or if it's 150 foot deep. The fish are gonna suspend most of the time above the thermocline in the summer, a little bit deeper in the winter. So you're dealing with suspended fish out here 100% of the time. And a lot of your technique depends on water clarity. If the water's really clear, like over four foot of visibility, I like to use a drop shot or a small swim bait and just basically fan cast, you know, all around the shade areas here. And keep an eye on my depth finder. If I see some fish on the shad schools down there, I'll drop a drop shot down there and fish vertically on it. Now, if you have a little bit more stained water, like here where I'm at in the creek, we've got about maybe two and a half, three foot of water, three foot of visibility. And you notice right there, most of the bait fish are down sort of in that four to five foot zone. So I would take a jerk bait and I'd fish a jerk bait or maybe a crank bait all in this two area, just fan casting in the shade and, uh, and catch them. I've been catching a lot of fish this summer doing this every bridges I go to. Another thing that you wanna remember about this is this is a deal where you can just commit to it all day long because these fish, they live here. They're not like gonna be out here at nine o'clock in the morning and swim to the bank. They're out here and they, they have active feeding windows. So what you have to do is you have to make a commitment to stay on these areas and just go back and forth and back and forth. And you'll notice different little feeding windows throughout the course of the day. That's when you catch fish. And a lot of times you'll see these fish come up and start busting and schooling. So you can catch them on top water under those conditions. It's just a great way to catch a lot of bass. Uh, most of the year, except for like when they're spawning, they're, they're, you don't catch many fish out here in the spring. But winter, summer, fall, they're just really great areas. So anyway, guys, just uh, wanted to share that with you guys. I know it's going to help you guys catch a few more fish. Thanks for tuning in to the video. We'll talk later.